Hmm. Your name's Larry, and you're a giggler. Hmm. That's right. And your brother's name is Gary. What's your pa's name? Barry? Mm hmm No, Gary's my cousin. My sister's Carrie. I have 90... I have... Sorry, that's not what he says. I have 39 siblings, they wow. are. 39? And I thought my family was big. We're just 13. Do you have... Don't you have three brothers? Mm hmm that's four brothers, including me, and nine sisters, plus seven cousins, but I didn't count them. Heck, if I start counting, I've been around folks these parts so long, everyone's my family. Counting it this way, I reckon now I'm winning. Mm -hmm. Humans count family this way? Hmm. Well, we ain't family family, but we're family, you know. Look at Vivi over at Taylor Maid. I've known her all my life, and her family are mine. Heck, now you're in town, you're one of her own. Ah, uh, you should call him brother. <laughs> brother. Mm -hmm. Hey, you better watch your scaly mouth. Respect your elders. Yeah, truth be told, I didn't take too kindly to lizard folks before, but recent events have turned my worldview upside down. As long as you don't put more scribbles there on the side walls of our city or attack my Yakmo for no garden, for no darn reason, then you are all right by my book. No, no, when you say it like that, you sound like a buffoon. <sighs> My jaw's aching from all this sibilance. Mm. Take ten, then come back when you're ready to really hiss your heart out. Hey, I ain't saying I was quitting. How was that? Hey, Larry. Greetings. Ah, uh, greetings, the spawn, accompanied by the strong human. Ooh. You teaching Elsie how to talk to your lizard kin? I want in. I already know plenty of swear words. <laughs> Can I get in trouble for saying bad words in the lizard language? Mm. Mm. Yes. Delightful. Why don't you learn to say something that wouldn't put your life in danger? Mm. <laughs> Perhaps I've chosen poorly this phrase. Mm. Nevertheless, let's try it again, shall we, humans? One of you is insulting me in perfect uh, jigglies. If I didn't know better, I say you were getting it wrong on purpose. Gatton. Not me. Mm. Good, strong human. Perfect, in fact. But leaves only one suspect. Huh? But I said it the same as both of you. Maybe it's your ears that got the problem. Goodness, human spawn. Cover your ear holes. Huh? <laughs> what? No, I'm sure I got it this time. Listen. See, same as you, practically perfect pronunciation. Uh. Barrel human, I think it's time to stop. Never say that to anyone, ever. You're worse than that law human. Um. I'm not trying to swear. Hmm. Okay, I'll see. I'm sure you'll get it. <laughs> kind of makes me wonder, what's your pronunciation like in all of the mother animal languages you're always going on about? Kind of looking like we got a new animal whisperer in town, eh? Hmm? Andy, Elsie's good at talking to animals. I've seen it. She talks to wolves and meerkats and ducks and foxes and... Well, I think that's it. Uh, you know what? I reckon that's it. I just got my wires crossed a bit. You see, the intonations and what's not of the fox language are making it kind of hard to get my words right here in this lizard language. Mm. Yeah, just stop. Mm. Well, if you ever need to provoke a lizard fella and strike in the first blow... You know, for legal reasons. At least she got that base covered. That's not very nice. Yeah. Mm, shucks. All right, all right. I'm throwing in the towel for now. But you ain't seen the last of me, Larry the Lizard. See you later, alligator. Sandrock will rule that human the world. phrase my people find offensive, or but good not. pronunciation on the greeting. Yes, this seems a good stopping point. Return to your nest, human spawn. We shall continue this lesson at a later date. I must say, it is pleasing to find such understanding among your people, strong human. To learn our language, I must admit, I had not predicted such compassion. For your troubles, I will teach you a special phrase. Mm. It is the ultimate insult. Reserve it for any lizard who would do you any harm. Hearing such piercing words would surely shock them, opening a chance for you to attack. Good luck, strong human. <laughs> We 
I really hope that's not the ending the nearing the end of the game. I don't think so. Because based on the uh, recipes to learn, I still have a lot. You have returned. I thought a lot about what you said. Abandoned. Why do you think it is that Matilda and Pen abandoned me? They never cared about you. It surprises me not that Pen betrayed me. He was sent to observe my actions and cared not for me nor I of him. But Matilda, I did not know she was a member of Duvos. She was sympathetic to my views while we were studying. She did not agree, per se, but she understood me, listened to me. It is clear in retrospect, she was simply observing my conversion. Even that being said, why would she abandon me? Perhaps you are right. Perhaps she was never my friend, or believed in my cause. When I was in the cell with Pan Malafu, I listened to their ramblings. The Fu did not seem to hold the same beliefs as I. He wanted more land for his people, but he did not care about the future of the human race. In fact, he did not even seem to believe in anything. I tried to share my views with him, to find some common ground, but he was far too concerned with arm wrestling pen. These troops were not the saviors I was expecting. Matilda. I am still shocked she was in such a position at all. Why did Matilda jump in front of the bullet? I have been pondering this myself. I have some theories, however I do not know her true intentions. I believe Matilda is a true tactician. Well, I was only aware of the water plan. She had designs far above my level. When my plan was foiled by Logan, she needed to maintain her cover and ensure the town trusted her. I suppose her goals were with a small shot in the shoulder. Risky, but calculated. She could not afford for Penn to let anything slip, or for suspicion to also fall upon her. Of course, this is simply an educated guess. I have not spoken with her since my arrest. I really believed we were friends. That being said, there are still some parts of the plan that give me so much doubt. Why did they conceal their intentions from me? What were they doing in the north? Water plan was a cover for an evacuation of a ruin. So I was... a pawn? I... I was told... What I was doing was to protect everyone. But when Duvos eventually took over, they'd protect everyone from the dangers of the past. But they were excavating the ruins for these old world relics. These weapons of war. The irony. <laughs> now, if that is all, Why did you try to shoot Logan? He has pretty eyes, though. That is something that will haunt me. I am no killer. I think... While I believed I was doing the right thing, a part of me was still thrilled to be fooling everyone. The desire for triumph got to my head. And when I was found out, Hubris caused me to lose my mind. A cornered beast will lash out. That is not a justification. At that moment, I believed everything I had worked for was falling apart. I saw red, and the next thing I knew, I heard the gunshot ring out. Every night since, I have seen that scene play out in my mind. I seek not forgiveness. There is no such forgiveness. I'll regret this for the rest of my life. Builder, 
I have once again been left with much to think about. Thank you. We may not be aligned philosophically. Perhaps you even hate me. But I value our conversations. That was the uh, most conversation you and I have had, though, sir. Getting that, um, a little bit of melancholy, bad feeling that the game is, the story of the game is wrapping up for me, and what's going to be remaining is just the open-ended play, and I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I mean, in all fairness, I've played this game a lot, but still. I'm not sure if I'm done though, because there's the uh, what is the one waste? Hold on, take a quick look. Really quick. So there's all of these that I don't have yet, which is quite a few, right? That makes me feel like I'm not ahead as I thought I might be, unless those are furniture pieces that I've unlocked yet. I guess it's possible. Hey, I wanted to talk to you. Don't know if you've heard, but Haru's leaving Sandrock the day after tomorrow to uh, go and study in Atara. He's like a little brother to me. I gotta do something for him. Nice and simple. So, I'm planning for us to get together uh, at the old camp. Have a meal like old times. You have time to come along? I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Sure. Well, all right. I gotta go get a gift for him. I know he's gonna be doing a whole bunch of experiments over there. Maybe Fang has some test tubes or something. Come to the cave tomorrow anytime after 6 p.m. I'll tell Rambo to wait for you. Where's going away to study in Nataro? He really loves chemistry. Maybe I can make him goggles as a farewell gift. Goggles for experiment. All right. Hint. Ah, hey. Nice to see you again. Going to the meeting as well? Mr. Musa asked me to come coordinate with Heidi on the final stage of the Sandrock Porsche Road. And who am I to turn down a long train ride? The rumbling of the train really helps me drift off. I, was I actually got injured there building the tunnel. Some AI machine caused the tunnel collapse. I remember this actually. Luckily, the local builder in the Civil Corps saved me. It was quite scary. Other than that, it was nice. My family lives there. You'd like it there. It's nice to be back in Sandrock, though. I've got a lot to talk to Space Case about. Did, did the game just assume that the canon is everyone romanced mint? Anyway, we've got a meeting. Let's not keep them waiting. Thank you for coming, everyone, and welcome back, Mint. This meeting is for us to get an update on the current situation of the Sandrock Porsche Road Project, as well as what needs to be done next. With that said, I'll turn it over to you, Heidi, Mint. Thank you, Mary Trudy. I'm happy to be back as well. Things are finishing up on the Porsche side. The tunnel through the southern Eufaula range has been completed and Mayor Gale is currently setting up a trading hub. I understand the tunnel is also done here in Sandrock? Yep, just certified it. 
Ah, oh, that's good. Hmm? D did President Yan get rid of his mustache? <laughs> uh, no, no, my boy. I'm Wei, the new commissioner here. Nice to meet you. It's so confusing. Yeah, anyway, that means we're right on schedule. All that's left is to lay the road and build the station. I assume Mr. Musa will be running the bus route, right? Does he need buses? Portia has started working on a long-haul bus. Mayor Gale wants to make sure that when the road is done, we can start the routes as quickly as possible. That's a good idea. Maybe we can help out in some way? Well, I brought over an updated copy of the diagram for the long-haul bus. Mr. Musa wanted to commission you guys to build the water tank bus version, while Portia builds the people ferry version. Oh, that's wonderful! Our Commerce Guild is up for the challenge! That we are! So, if I'm getting this right, we'll be handling the bus station and the water tank bus? That's right! Mint, let's talk about how we can finish the road after this meeting! No need to hold everyone up! Sure. I'll be sure to distribute the work through the mail tomorrow, so look for that, builders. Got it. Then okay, everything's settled. Meeting adjourned. Thanks for coming, everyone. Hmm. Sounds like your monster hunter crew took care of the tunnel problem without a hitch. It's great news. I like to point out the silver core still only has three core member. Oh. Uh huh. I always believe we can mix peace with. Be seeing you. Turn this in. Everyone ready? Alrighty. Good to see you, folks. Uh, today, we've got ourselves a little musical showdown between your beloved Kugo band and this here Penny from Barnarock. Come yeah, on, Kugo. Just Go relax Penny. and play. That's right. You're going to hear a song from both of us and vote on who you think shredded the best. It's I really lively love today. watching my little boy play. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me in your wonderful town. Today, I'm going to perform an adaption of one of my favorite songs. Oh, I'm expecting quite a this show is exciting. here. exciting. How am I? I can't hear anything. Everyone's voted. Ready to count? Let's go! One vote for Kugo, one for Penny. Another for Penny. This one. All right. Down to the last vote. We're tied right now. So, so, this one will sit. Oh, ah. <laughs> what in tarnation? That's the last vote. Who won? Did anyone see what it said? Where did it go? The wind was too strong. I dropped it. <laughs> Maybe the world is telling us that we shouldn't care who won. The most important thing is the music. Well, I gotta say, Missy, uh, when I heard you're playing your little song, I was worried that me and Hugo were gonna lose. <laughs> and then just kind of forgot all about it and enjoyed your music. He's right. 
this showdown really gave me some much needed inspiration. Even though your music is real different to ours, made me want to branch out a little. After listening to Kugo, I really felt inspired too. I feel like I learned the spirit of Sandrock just through your one tune. Your, mo your music is like a book, but with the, with the words shining in front of me, following the melody. Tells me about the soul of the people here. I also learned that music is to be enjoyed, not to be shot down. We shouldn't think about who wins or loses, but just that we love the music. You get a yee-haw for that. Woo! Yeah! Encore! I love it! Encore! 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 Well, that little song felt something familiar. I reckon it seems fitting we accompany you with an encore. I'd be honored. Kugoni, let's go. Okay, that was sweet. Oh, I got oh, <laughs> no, ladies, excuse me. Your music, it sounds real familiar, you know. It's like, feels like something I might have played. <laughs> Coop, you're trying to take credit for Penny's music. Think she can't write something like that herself. No. Oh, wait a darn minute. Missy, did you pass through Walnut Grove, say, 20 years ago? No, but my ma did. She told me she saw someone play a song there that took her breath away. She'd hum it to me when I was a child, and that's what inspired me to become a musician. I told you I played the best song in the world, though mine was more of a tribute. I don't really know the arrangement, just the tune. And I kind of fudged the lyrics a little, since my ma couldn't remember it all anyway. Let me tell you something. You know, that was... Ugh. Hey, uh, sorry, Penny. I think I heard Elsie calling her pa. Huh? Elsie? Uh, what's she need now? <laughs> Staying out of that one. We do have... One to turn in. Do that real quick. 
before everybody goes to bed. Better that the singer of her favorite song is a nice memory rather than you. <laughs> hey! I came to say goodbye. My next stop is Portia. I can't wait to see that town. But before I leave, I wanted to say thank you. Although my old guitar broke, I had such an amazing, unforgettable time in Sandrock. But I can't stop. I need to keep moving, discovering the world, finding more inspiration. I want to hear the stories of people all across the free cities. And then, I want to put all that into my songs. I'm going to find my own best song in the world. Maybe someday in the future, you'll hear my song sung from another's lips. Make sure to keep I'll in touch. I'll definitely write to you. Anyway, I gotta catch the bus. See you later, builder. Train. You mean train. We're, we're trains here. Um, hey, thanks for showing up. Let's see. Okay. Uh, having come down from my manic episode, I have once again come to the conclusion that Santa Rock is indeed nowhere near ready for the aspirations I have dreamed up. However, I believe there is merit to what you and Ernest have said to completely rule out the possibility of manifesting my dreams here was hasty. I have started keeping my drawings again. If my dream of putting on a fashion show in Sand Rock comes true, I hope to see you in the front row but center stage. Oh, it's Greetings. Cooking boss is not here today, so I'm doing cooking and serving. They have been looking at me strangely. I am worried that I will offend them somehow. Did you give these dishes to them? Oh, no problem. Give them to me. Thank you, strong human. Here are three dishes. They were ordered by those three tables over there. Hmm, that's one heck of a dish. Where's the chef? I want to tell them the... Uh, I'll pass on your kind words. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. I heard there's some kind of giggler in here. I didn't see anyone. Uh, actually, they're the chef. It's really? But it's delicious, isn't it? Well, it certainly is delicious, but I didn't expect a giggler to cook this well. Well, I'll be. Whatever, this smells so nice, I want seconds. And try. No problem. All right, Larry, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, strong human. What do the customers think of my cooking? Hmm? A customer wants to meet me because I can cook? What if I scare them? It's fine, I'll go with Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's meet the customers. <laughs> oh, so you brought the... A lizard man? This is the chef that cooked my meal? Well, I'll be... Oh, the, cook mm. the cooking boss taught me how to make this dish. He has taught me a lot. This one is the best. The gigglers can tell the subtle differences between cactus flesh, and I know which is suitable for cooking. <laughs> I am glad that you like my dish. Oh, I love it. I apologize for my outburst earlier. You just surprised me. I grew up thinking that you're all monsters. But I seem to have been taught wrong. Your food is delicious, and it seems like you're a good person as well. Well, isn't Sand Rock just full of surprises? I even met a giggler chef. What's next? A talking mole? Thank you. Thank you for your compliment. Please enjoy your meal. Sandrock will rule the Strong world. human, you have helped me once again. Thank you. Or I shall return not. to work. I will not forget this. Monsieur's I have brought le pie. It was made by the magnificent Lumi. Her cooking is only surpassed by her beauty. Meow. Meow. Mm. Very well, Captain. We shall begin the meeting. Seems like they're having a meeting. Should I listen in? No. <laughs> it is none of my business. None of my business. Mmm. 
Some more people have the ability to regrow our tails if we lose them. One must lose one's tail in the first place to know. I, therefore, likely shall never find out. Yeah, you came! I almost didn't. I got couldn't remember how to get here. Hey, I just lit the fire. If you want to eat, you're going to have to wait a bit. You made it. I was worried I wasn't going to get to see you before I left. I'm going to Atara to study. Which you're going to do great at. Tomorrow. <sighs> it's not that easy, or there'd be a lot more graduates. <laughs> but you know everything. Quick, what's 12 times 12? 144. I'll take your word for it. He's right. Did we really never get you doing times tables? Dang, maybe that one's on me. Well, see? I ain't even had to think about it. Haru's gonna get himself one of those scholarships for certain. Yeah, doesn't matter if he do or don't get a scholarship. I'll make sure he gets through it one way or another. Skewers ain't finished yet, Haru. You got your stuff packed? I've got everything from the house packed already. Just got a few things left over here. Ah, oh, crud! I still got Haru's notebook somewhere. Help me look for it, will you? It's got all sorts of formulas in it. <laughs> all right, I'll help him pack. Oh, yeah! I think I left it on my old bed. I get it myself, but... Someone needs to stay here and make sure this fella here don't incinerate our last meal as a gang. I'll holler when the food's done. Thanks. I just need to get a couple of things, then I'll be ready. That smells good. Um, an owl, common items, towels, linens, and remarkables, like we use for nefarious deeds, such as washing, cleaning, oh, and repairing right? clothing. Hard bed, hardly any padding at all, essentially just a piece of wood with a blanket over it. Light overhead, uh, for what could only be assumed for late night reading. This is gonna be the three bears. A uh, soft, fluffy bed. When you put your hand on it, it almost sucks you in. Hardly seems oh, fitting for a stone-hearted bandit. I like it extra crispy. Ah, Arvio gave me this the other day when we said goodbye. He's really... I've actually been interested in Fang's medicine. He has a specialized composition. I tried analyzing it before, but I couldn't recreate it. I asked Arvio to help introduce me to Fang, but Dr. Fang politely declined. Fang isn't great at talking to people he doesn't. Yeah, that's true. It's just a shame I'm leaving now and I won't have the chance to get to know him. Anyway, I'll keep these with me. I'll be glad if I can help someone out in Atara with them. Now, let's see. And these super shield meant to absorb powerful kinetic blows. Doesn't look like it's seen any action. Yes, Andy went through a lot of trouble for nothing. Chair adorned with Logan's signature Yachtmill horns. The red backdrop seems to imply that Logan wanted to give any would-be invaders a bit of a spectacle upon entrance. Wooden targets have seen a lot of use. Logan is known for his skill with the firearm. It stands to reason that he's practiced to make perfection. View deep into the canyon. Has that changed? I don't remember there being a windmill before. Maybe. This guy over here. Ours goat Merle has a beautiful white cord and adorable big bright eyes. Actually, I wanted to give this to you. Not just the saddle. I want you to take care of Merle for me. I'm going to be taking the train to Atara. I can't bring her with me. Besides, I don't think she'll get much exercise in Atara. So I think it's better off if I leave her with a new owner. Will you take care of her? Of course. That's such a relief. I'm so glad Merle will have someone caring to live with. 
don't worry. She's a really lovely goat. She'll be happy just to spend time with you. If you don't have a stable, I'll leave her with Logan. You can pick her up any time. Now, let's see. Is there anything else I need to pack? Huh? Why is this page marked? Andy, are you trying to make soap? Yeah, Logan stinks real bad in the... Hey. I mean, yeah. I managed to make yak mail soup already. Followed your recipe, got it my first try. Jasmine says I got a real knack for it. Well, I'll be. Might be hope for you yet. Well, if you're having fun with it, why don't you keep this one? Although, there's a lot of really dangerous stuff in here. Me? Do something reckless with a recipe book full of explosives? <laughs> Come on! I mean, maybe back in the glory days, but we're changed men. On the straight and narrow now we are. Please, just let me have it. Don't worry, Haru. I'll keep an eye on him. Besides, he ain't dumb. Certainly not dumb enough to mess around with anything we say is off limits, are you, kid? I'll be good. All right, but I might... Tear a few pages out, just in case. Aw, oh, come on! I don't know if I would trust him with the dangerous chemicals. Well, this is how it starts, isn't it? Cool chemical reactions is kind of what gets you into it in the first place. I'll leave in a few simple fireworks recipes to keep him engaged. Make me ten more of them soaps, and uh, I'll give you the recipe for something that blows up. Cool. Hmm... Maybe I do need to withhold anything remotely dangerous for now. I haven't flipped through this one in a while. Lots of the experiments here aren't exactly academic. I've always been a trial and error type of person. Look, this page was burnt in a lab fire. Or was that Grace? Why do you love chemistry so much? Hmm. I haven't really thought about that much. I mainly just like to look at things around me and just ask... How? How does that work? How did this happen? Chemistry is the beauty of change. In a way, it's magic. But a magic we can analyze and understand. Sometimes when things interact, there's no reaction. But sometimes you just put the right stuff together, poof, you get fireworks. At the end of the day, it's really about the discovery and the interesting history of it all. It's said that the carbon nanotube was discovered by an old-world scientist who saw the structural concept in a dream. Sorry, <laughs> I'm rambling. Oh, well, we've got it. Maybe you'll find these recipes useful, too. Let me jot a few down for you. Thanks for helping out. I think that's about everything. Come on, food's ready! Get it while the getting's good! Perfect timing. Let's go and have some food. Logan? Why is it all black and crusty? That's what rooster meat looks like when it's cooked. It quit belly aching and try by. Blech. I told you you were burning it. Are you trying to kill me? A yeah, little bit of burn ain't gonna kill you, but starvation will. Now eat up, y'all. <laughs> Logan, you can't be doing the cooking. So, what do you think? Smoky would be a generous way to describe the flavor. A less generous way, a less generous way, would be burnt. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. See, at least somebody appreciates me around here. Only because I think I want you to be my husband. Am I gonna compliment you? The builder's just trying to be nice. These rooster legs look like one of their own rockets went off on him. I will admit. I ain't got nothing on Haru. I just know a little from when me and my pa used to go hunting. Mainly aimed to eat and not be eaten. Everything tastes good after a long day on the trail. It's the thought that counts. I appreciate you trying to cook for a change. Well, we ain't on the trail. You could try adding salt, pepper, something. It's a disgrace to the animal turning them into charcoal. Oh man, it's really sinking in. You're gonna leave me with this guy? I'll get better at it. It's okay. Look, Andy, these ones look fine.
<laughs> you remember when I punted that beehive at you and you caught it? It was an impressive catch. I thought you'd just duck. Well, I got you back. Oh man, those peppers in my almond the next day? That was not cool, man. Could have been a lot worse. He didn't use Grace's Duvos peppers. True, true. All right, fine, we're even then. So, when you first met Grace, she kicked your butt, didn't she? We had a bit of a tussle. Had to make sure she was who she said she was. Yeah? So who won? I'd say it was more of a draw. Aw, oh, come on! I bet people would pay good money for a rematch. Spar, of course. Yeah, well, talk to Grace about it. What do you think you'll do after schooling? I haven't given it much thought. Obviously you're coming back to join the gang again. Duh. That would be my first choice. Always a place for you here, brother. I know. And thank you. You got me a gift? Goggles. This is so thoughtful. Thank you. I'll wear these whenever I'm doing experiments, and my eyes will be grateful. Aru, looks like the Builder really cares about you too, huh? Oh, I got you a present too. Here's three jars of jam. They're real tasty. I know you got a long trip, so you can eat them on the train. Grandma Vivi always says I should eat it with bread, but pro tip, it's way better just spooning it straight from the jar. Thank you, Andy. That's really thoughtful. Here's something for me, too. Haru, remember not to get too lost in your books, all right? Go out and make some friends, too. Join the uh, science club or something. And, and hey, maybe you'll uh, meet a special someone. You can't force love, though. I ain't saying force anything. I'm saying just put yourself out there. Can't meet your soulmate if you don't leave the house. Aw, Aru's afraid to talk to girls? Don't worry, pal. You're looking at a bona fide, one of a kind, dead to rights lady killer. Hmm? Oh, you mean yourself. As I recall, the first time you met Jasmine, she cried and ran off screaming. What? I never told you that. Uh. I mean, you must have heard wrong. Nah, that weren't me. Must have been some other handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, all I'm saying is, the greater point to be made is, when do we get to be a normal family, huh? We don't. But we get to have a family. And you get to have a normal life from now on. Just ain't the normal you might have been thinking of. Hmm. Haru, brother, I dragged you into more muck than I ever could have imagined. You stuck by me the whole way. Now, you walk your own path. When you leave, never look back. This is your ride, and this is where Andy and I hop off. But no matter where you go, you'll always be kin. Kind of made me a little emotional. That got me in my feels. Logan. I never regretted a single moment. Don't forget me. It's getting late. Haru's got to get his train tomorrow morning, so let's call it a night. Thanks for coming. Um, I guess this isn't quite goodbye yet. See you tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Little Andy. <laughs> He's a tough kid. Didn't look back. Let's head back. Ain't nothing to get from waiting around here. Haru and Grace. Both gone. Are we even bandits anymore? <laughs> bandits? Oh, don't say that, Andy. I'm still here. We're fearsome bandits, right? Haru's just gonna study and come back even fearsome-er. 
<laughs> Knowledge being power and all that. Which reminds me, you got classes later. Ah, I don't want to go to school. I thought you warmed up to studying. You're always saying you want to be smart like Haru. Uh, but we better run. I gotta try and make this guy stop crying. <laughs> oh you startled me little guy all right go ahead and return back i went to pablo's and saw more of his drawings up on azizel great work whatever you did it worked 